Thought Washington, Coach Hop did a great job. They won four of their last five. There were some times where the game could have got away from them, and uh, they got the ball to their best player, played through him, and uh, they kept battling. So got a lot of respect for uh, the way they played tonight. So about uh, 14 offensive rebounds is probably the thing I'm happy about. Uh, thought Dylan gave a good 10 minutes. Will was uh, didn't practice all week sick. Today was his first day back with us. He wasn't even with us in the gym. Um, so we got to get uh, we got to get back to playing well. Obviously, we didn't. Uh, 18 turnovers to me is like uh, to other coaches would be like 25. 18 to me is like 25 to other coaches. So beyond unacceptable. So our best two, uh, supposed best two players got nine turnovers and all of them unforced. At no point did they get trapped. So those two single-handedly let the other team back in the game with their carelessness with the ball. That's two games in a row with the turnovers. Uh, what do you see there that's kind of going on? You know, when guys turn the ball over, um, they do happen in the course of the game. But when you're throwing uh, passes at people's feet and Nolan Ryan fastballs off the glass, you don't it, – it's, it's just you think you're going to win anyway and you're screwing – in my opinion, tonight, and you're just screwing around. And, and, and in doing that, all you do is make yourself look bad, really bad. Coach, any – rhyme or reason to what's kind of going on in the second half for you guys? I, I think, you know what, rhyme or reason? We're 18 and four, and every metric that matters, we're in the top five in the nation, and we don't buy players. So I think everybody should be happy if you're a UCLA fan, and I'm happy. I'm not happy about the turnovers. I think other teams practice, and I just said it, our best two players turn the ball over. Is there a little height, or is that kind of no? Overrated? No, I just I just answered that. What did I say? Guys were screwing around, thinking we're up, but we're just going to win. Guys are, I mean, you know, they're way better than that. I mean, they never do that. So why would they do that? They're screwing around. Coach, do you attribute that to? Um... I attribute it at the immaturity. I was going to ask about uh, Washington hitting six of 12 three-pointers. Um, what did you see from that? How were they able to get so open? They're eight for 26. I know, but they're eight for 26. So they shot 30%. So we had to double Brooks some. We worked hard on it. Um, he's a good player. He did a good job. They found the open man. We got beat off the dribble some. They sprayed it out, made some shots. I don't know if you guys think, are we supposed to win every game by 30? I'm just wondering. I mean, you know, guys, we won. We won. We are 18 and four. We're in the top five of every metric that matters. Washington practices. They have a winning record. They've won four of their last five. They lost by three at Arizona. I don't know if you know that. They won at Colorado. Mari looks like he added another dimension to the offense. Uh, he's getting more comfortable, but he's got, you know, he's young. He's still 18. He's got to quit turning the ball over. But he had some key passes. He's one of the few guys. Tonight that we get the dem the ball, we really struggle to throw the ball inside. And I've said that to you all here. We really struggle to throw the ball inside. So he, I think he might be the only guy that got to dem the ball. Other, other, Dem's other touches were probably his five offensive rebounds. We really struggle to get him the ball. And that's that's after every day breakdown drills trying to practice it. I made this double double um, stats. Doesn't matter. Once stats of defensive beats, turnovers. He's way better than he played tonight. And if he's not better than he played tonight, we're not going anywhere in March. And he would tell you that. About the deflection stats for tonight, do you have those? Don't have them. I there was I I will tell you it was in the thirties. 
it was way more, it was 19, so it was, you know, it's why they shot to your question, Mike, that whenever you're low deflections, the team's going to shoot a higher percentage. So the first half, it was 19 deflections. That's when they shot 14% from three. Second half, I want to say, Ben, it was like 13, which is why they were, they were way more comfortable. Now, but the whistle was all against us, which is three straight games of that. Second half, the whistle was all against us. Even on a Dems play, he gets fouled. So I don't know if those guys have ever dunked the ball, but when you get fouled, when you go up and you're, you're that big, you know that you get hit and you let go of the rim, you might fall. They when nobody was under it. So yeah, there was the ground. You ever have you ever been up there and fallen? It's gonna hurt. Jaylet made his first three shots. Seemed like he was still still shooting too many one handers. Air couple air balls around the rim. So we just gotta keep working on it with him. But I thought it's you know, his we had eight steals in the first half, only two in the second. That would attribute to their second half offense. Um you know, he got in foul trouble. But I, I thought his attitude this week in practice was better. I thought his effort was much better. He had seven rebounds. He had one bad turnover trying to throw a high-low pass. But, again, I think you guys got to give Washington some credit. I don't know if you, you know, other teams practice. Any more questions for Coach? Opt did a good job. This guy's kept fighting. They got Brooks the ball. They did a good job. Thank you, guys.